Welcome to today's Premier Experts, your one-stop shop to find industry experts in a variety of niches. My name is Ray Perez, and I'm a global branding expert. I travel the world speaking to entrepreneurs and business owners, and we've created this show to take advantage of their wealth of knowledge. I interview experts across different fields to learn what has made them become successful. When you interview people from a wide range of industries, those points of views brought together can create massive success for your business. Welcome to today's Premier Experts. I'm your host, Ray Perez, and today our special guest is Lisa Shaver, who is a healthy lifestyle specialist. But before we get into the interview, we have another edition of Million Dollar Mindset. This is where we get the opportunity to ask high-level CEOs what it takes to reach seven figures and beyond. Check it out. Um, so there's two different um, things that we work off of. So we talk to companies about what's your brand promise, which is your brand promise is what your customers see of you from the outside, your marketing, your, um, your product, what you do, everything that you do. So our brand promise is Disney is special entertainment at heart. So anytime we look at anything within our organization, um, we have to look at that through that lens. And if it's not special entertainment with heart, it goes out the door. And so you really have to draw that line as your brand on who are we, and we're not just going to acquire or do things just because it's gonna make us money. Does it perpetuate our brand? And then from there, you stay consistent. You hold on to it strong. Yes, your vision is gonna grow because you have to change as you know your product changes or as your customers change or as the world changes, but you've got to understand who you are and that solid foundation as a brand um, and make decisions from that every day, and then you'll be solid. But that's one of the biggest mistakes because they just, oh, I need this, and I know I need to go in this, and I know to go over here. Be solid. And if it doesn't fit who you are, let it go. Leaders have to figure out is what's the difference between reward and what's the difference between recognition. Reward is monetary. Recognition is saying thank you. And what are you saying thank you for? You can't just say, nice job. You're like, what, what did I do? You have to give them detail. What are the behaviors you saw? What, what are some of the behaviors you would like them to continue? And tell it to the world so other people in the organization can hear, hey, Kelly just got recognized for A, B, and C. I can do that. Actually, I can plus that if I want to. And then it starts really permeating throughout the entire company and the entire organization. So really start with going out and doing what we call leader walks and going out and trying to find people doing something right instead of something wrong and you'll see a transformation. Hello, my friend. This is Ray Perez, global branding expert, inviting you to the Business Growth Bootcamp. This is an event that we do for three days in Miami, Florida for business owners, entrepreneurs, and business professionals who are looking to grow and scale their business. We're gonna be talking about branding, marketing, sales, speaking, video, social media, and much, much more. I brought a team of experts from all over the country to come and speak to you and teach you their experiences and their expertise to assist you in growing your business. Now, this is a three-day event, starting off with day one when we talk about mindset. Mindset is the most important part about growing your business and understanding why it's important that we do certain things. Now, in day two, we're gonna be talking about skill set. Skill set is what do we need to do to implement to get those levels of results. And day number three is my favorite, implementation day. That's right, this is a boot camp, so we're actually gonna be getting work done for you and your business. So I'm very excited to invite you to the Business Growth Boot Camp. If you want more information, watch the videos below on this page, and I look forward to seeing you at the next upcoming event. Hey my friends, it's Ray Perez and I'm so excited to be launching my brand new co-author book project. That's right, for the very first time I'm launching the opportunity for you to be a co-author with me in my brand new book, 
The Drive to Success. Now, you may be wondering what this book is about, and it's really true life stories of high-performance entrepreneurs who failed their way to success. And me being one of those, I've had a lot of failures in my life, and each time I failed, I became more successful. And I really truly feel that as entrepreneurs, we don't get to hear about people's stories of how they failed. Because truly, without failure, you're not gonna be successful. Uh, I was working out the other day, trying to get back into shape, and I was realizing what bodybuilders do when they're working out is they do repetitions until failure. And the reason is, when you hit that failure, that's when the real muscle growth happens. So you can't actually be successful or grow without failure. And that was a huge analogy for me because I've really considered my life and all my clients and people that I work with, and I'm like, it's true. We need to go through failure to achieve success. So I wanted to create a book, The Drive to Success, of what it takes to persevere through that failure and be able to achieve next level success each time. So if you have a story that you'd like to share to inspire other entrepreneurs and small business owners, then I'd love for you to click the link below and apply to be part of our co-author book project. Now, in addition to obviously becoming a published author, you're also going to be a best-selling author because we will be running a best-seller campaign for our new book. In addition to that, you're also going to be part of a podcast, so you get to share your story and use it in that format as well. And you might be thinking, Ray, I don't have the time to write a book, not even if it's just a chapter in a book. Well, guess what? you don't have to write a single word because my team is going to interview you, record the call, and transcribe the entire thing and format it into your chapter in the book. You won't have to write a single word. All you have to do is revise it, make sure it's in your voice, in your language, and that you're happy with it so we can approve it. Now, the other thing is this. We're not just creating a book. We're also creating a whole marketing campaign around it. I'm also launching a podcast called The Drive to Success, which I'll interview you after you write your chapter and to kind of discuss the challenges that you went through, what happened and how you got to that next level so you can use that into your marketing as well. Now, depending which one of our three options you choose, we're also gonna do a VIP day right here in Miami, which you're gonna get a professional photo shoot with your book. You're also gonna get to meet several other co-authors and like-minded entrepreneurs. We're gonna spend a great time and I'm gonna teach you how to leverage the power of your book in your marketing. That is my skill set. I'm not a publisher, that's why I partnered with the best, but I am a brander and I am a marketer and I'm gonna teach you how to leverage the most out of this book, unlike any other book, even if you're a published author as well. Now, in addition to that, we have several other benefits that are listed below in our packages. Make sure that you click to apply to get access to everything that's in our book project. And I am just so excited. And here's one thing, you can't just buy your way into this. It doesn't matter how much money you have or if you wanna be a part of it, you do need to qualify. And the reason is this, we wanna make sure that you have an inspiring story and you really wanna make a difference in others' lives. This isn't just a thing about making money, I can do this book project on my own, it's about giving you an opportunity. And we wanna make sure that you're properly positioned in a way to leverage what we're doing in this book project. Because we want all 10 authors to be promoting, to give, 10 times the amount of exposure to this book than if you were just promoting it on your own. So hopefully you are interested in being part of our new book project. Click the link below and apply, and I look forward to seeing you on the other side. What I like best about the Inner Circle is that the team of people that you have working and helping pull things out of you allows you to see areas in your life that would probably take you years to find out. As soon as I was introduced to the concept of Inner Circle, I knew immediately that I wanted to be a part of it. So to be able to have access to that on a weekly basis has been transformational. It's better than a family. It's somebody that actually uh, understands your, your background and your, uh, where you come from and uh, everybody wants to go in the same direction. I, I love the opportunity to, have to just kind of share my thoughts and get some opinions and feedback from people who have either done it or, or just to get some outsider feedback to make sure I'm on the right track or to give you some guidance to, to make those decisions. They work with you closely one-on-one -on -one, and trying to really help you succeed in all areas whether it's personal or business and um, that can be really applied to your your life and career. We all help each other and, and every time we have a meeting with Ray or Dave they've got a small curriculum and on top of that they additionally bring someone else to kind of help us in a different area of our business. I was a little bit worried like is this going to work 
Will I be able to commit to this time every single week? You know, is it gonna be worth to set aside that much time? We've always maximized our time. And then on top of that, my performance that day and week increased greatly. So well worth it. Before I joined the Inner Circle, I just, I, I really didn't understand what it was all about. I just thought it was an, uh, a way for uh, somebody to come in and say, hey, you know, we're gonna give you something. Um, and you know, you, you turn over your money and you get no value out of it. And I feel like it's uh, the value is 10 times at 10x what I expected. Having coaches and team members that are able to, you know, give you a different perspective of, of your business just by looking at their business as well. Having uh, people in your corner to just discuss anything. I, I take it beyond business. I talk about my personal life. I talk about, you know, things that are concerning me. We talk about business. It's everything that you need to really uh, be clear on what you're trying to do. The whole curriculum, I believe it's, it's great for anyone that is um, a business owner, an entrepreneur who's growing a, a legitimate business. They create an uh, environment that you can blossom not only personally, but your business. If you're someone that's in business, you know, a business owner looking to grow your business, looking to get more exposure. If you're a dreamer, if you think that you were put on this earth to do something amazing, joining the Inner Circle will help you, you know, make those dreams come true. Hello my friend, it's Ray Perez, global branding expert, and I have a very special gift for you. If you're an entrepreneur, business owner, or business professional that's looking to scale and grow your business, then I have exactly what you've been looking for. I call this My360 Sites. I've been working on this for the last two and a half years to build my brand online, my brand presence, live events, speaking, networking, and social media, and I've been doing it very successfully. And now, I wanna give you free access. Why? Because I want you to be able to build, launch, and grow a successful business. And when you do that, I really want you to give back, just like I'm doing right now. That's all that you need to do. Now, what can you expect from My360 Sites? Well, number one, it's gonna allow you to network more efficiently build trust and credibility with your audience. Allow them to learn more about who you are and what you do. Whether you're an author, speaker, podcaster, or just have a couple websites, this is your opportunity to bring everything in one place and cross promote who you are. And the best part is, it doesn't make them feel that you're being salesy. Why? Because people love to buy, but they hate to be sold. Now, in addition to this, I also want you to learn how to get the maximum value out of your 360 site. So I'm also giving you access to one of our optimization sessions with my team so they can teach you exactly how to use it in your particular business and how to get the most value. Now, we do have limited spots available, so you must click the button on this page right now and get registered for your free 360 site. Now, at the end of the quick setup, which will only take you five minutes, there's gonna be a calendar for you to schedule the best date and time for your optimization session. Please make sure to do that. Why? Because if you don't have an optimization session, it's like having a Ferrari and parking in the garage. You're not gonna really know how to drive it to get the maximum performance. So click the button on this page, get registered, and I look forward to seeing you on the other side. Welcome back to today's Premier Experts. Next on the show is one of our favorite segments, Small Business, Big Ideas. This is where we travel the country with the Small Business Expo, interviewing attendees and vendors on their thoughts and experiences on a variety of topics. In the marketplace, you know, there's consumers of every age and gender, and really understanding what makes people tick is a skill and to market to them effectively you need to know what those things are and so having a very diverse workforce that can understand and relate to different people is super important. Maybe that's the, the value that my mom always taught me. No matter how successful your husband is, how great your financial situation is, as a woman we always want to become independent, have your own career that you can grow yourself, that's number one. Number two, when you grow yourself, you will become a better wife, a better mother for your children as a better role model. 
And then number three, I would say you feel more confident, you feel much better. Sometimes it's not just for the money, but you have something that you feel proud of and to fulfill your own personal purpose and make you more attractive. <laughs> It's important to empower women in business because, well, with our organization, 56% um, of our organization is minority women. Um, and how it has helped us with their unique perspective and also they have a, a, a keen sense and a lot of times when dealing with um, customers, they're the, I guess you could say, the good, the good person. They're, they're more relaxed, more um, emotionally sound than us gentlemen. And some would say they're smarter. So the more diversity you can get amongst your traits as a human being, the better off your team dynamics are going to be. And women are generally tend to be more nurturing and caring and giving. So to bring that into the corporate cold space that is infrastructure and technology, it just brings that warm-hearted feeling back to you know, systems. Women offer a unique perspective on certain areas. Men offer a unique perspective in other areas. You need the combination of that to understand your full audience. If your business is very specific to one gender over the other, you know, the insights that the opposite gender can give you can be the difference between a successful product or launch or not. Well, here in the United States, with like Harvey Weinstein and all of these sexual harassment cases, it's been brought to the forefront when where women are now talking more about what's happening behind closed doors, talking more about business, talking more about inequality and not being paid the equivalent of their male counterpart. So it's super important for women in business to speak up in order for them to elevate. Hi, my name is Lisa Shaver and I'm a mindset empowerment strategist. My team and I increase confidence, drive, and empower you to achieve next level results through a uniquely designed system. I'm a speaker, author, and I've been an educator for over two decades. I was also an Olympic athlete and played for the Colorado Silver Bullets, the first women's professional baseball team. I became an entrepreneur so that I could mentor others to unlock the secrets to a must-win mindset. What I love most about what I do is seeing the confidence and happiness in my clients' faces when they reach their full potential. When I'm not working, I love traveling and spending time with my dog, Max. He's a social media influencer with over 130,000 followers. The best way to reach me is by visiting my personal website, meetlisa360.com. Welcome back to today's Premier Experts. I'm your host, Ray Perez, and today my special guest, Lisa Shaver, a mindset empowerment strategist. Welcome to the show, Lisa. Oh, it's just such a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Well, thank you for being here. And like I always like to kick it off, uh, explain to me, what is it that you do as a mind empowerment strategist? I love to empower women to increase their confidence, their motivation, their drive, um, whatever it is to achieve that next uh, level results in whatever aspect of their life that is going on and it's done through a uniquely designed system which I like to call the uh, five rings of success. Five rings of success. Explain to me more about these five rings. Well through my life um, I you know challenges have occurred throughout my life and so I, it's just a culmination of all of those things and I just want to share that with the women. So some of the things would be w like work ethic. Um, people have always said sometimes that uh, things were easy for me, but that's not true. There were challenges along the way, but it was that work ethic, the practice, the drive, all of those things that you need to do to make it look easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just practice. Practice makes perfect. I mean, it does. So, but but also when you have those challenges, you've got to keep going. So something like failure is not the end. So if something happens to you, you've got to get back up. You've got to get out there and do it again. So small steps lead to big steps. So even if you've had a big tumble down the hill, you got to come, you know, climb that hill again. So sometimes it's just one step at a time, and you're going to get there. Um, some other things are undivided commitment. You have to have a laser focus. Focus is probably one of the first things you need to do mm. because without it, there's, we have so many distractions in our lives. I mean, it's as simple as a cell phone, just when you're working at your work and it's, you see those little lights. When you look at it, that can take you away from things for 15 minutes. I mean, yep. you lose that focus. So 
It's just having the commitment. Those are some of the things that I really love to share, you know, with some people to help them get through all of those things, those challenges in their lives. Very good. And, and speaking about practice, uh, I heard that you were in the Olympics. Yes, I was in the Olympics. It was an amazing, an amazing event. Um, I thought I had lost the opportunity in high school because I was uh, supposed to be on the Junior Olympic team uh, to represent the U.S. and Canada. But some things happened in my life, some challenges happened, and that was taken away from me um, by the adults at the time. And I even showed up in Canada just to, you know, because I was on the team and I was supposed to be part of it, but I never got to play. So my dreams were kind of dashed. And, but I kept going, that's one of those challenges, I kept going, I went to college, I played, and, and I was fortunate enough to meet uh, my college coach, and she played for Puerto Rico, and, and I uh, teamed up with their team, and it was just made to be, it was supposed to happen again, but then they were canceled. So years later, before the Olympics happened, I played for the Colorado Silver Bullets, and it was the first women's professional baseball team. Wow. And we got to travel around, and we played men, and I actually threw a no-hitter against the men. Wait, a women's team against the men? Yes, it was all men, and so it seemed like wherever we went, it was supposed to be like single-A men, but it seems like there was always a triple-A guy or an ex-pro, because they didn't want to lose to the girls. Wow. We did only, we did win two games, and I was fortunate enough I got to pitch one of them and so I threw a no-hitter um, but when we traveled around the United States we played in the Oakland Coliseum and they were broadcasting and they heard Puerto Rico heard my name on, on the broadcast the uh, Lisa Martinez oh I wonder if that's her and the Olympics were coming up the next year so they asked if I wanted to get through and so through hard work I did have to have shoulder surgery in there I mean I tore something uh, wow. during the baseball mm -hmm. but uh, I pow powered through that and overcame it and I got to be in the Olympics, so it was just a fantastic thing. I finally realized my dreams. But once again, it's through that hard work and those, and all the things and the focus and, and seizing the opportunity. Mm. Because sometimes opportunities do happen and we don't always see them. And if I hadn't have taken that opportunity to play for the Colorado Silver Bullets, they wouldn't have heard me, which then leads on to being able to c get to my final dream that I had when I was a little girl playing softball. And, and it's all again, once again, it's those five rings of success, that work ethic, the drive, all of those things that I want to share with people. Well, I, I find it pretty amazing that you you were so close to actually achieving it and then lost it, and then years later come full circle and actually achieve the dreams of being in the Olympics. That's that's an amazing story. And, yeah. and I love how now that you've incorporated that into your life and into your programs and you're teaching that that cycle. And is it is it on purpose that you know you've gone through this whole cycle and you call it the five rings of success? Is that is that on purpose? Is that yeah, a play on well, words I mean, or yeah, it's a play on words, but it's definitely you know, I was in the Olympics and it was my dream. It was my passion when I was younger. So yeah, five, five rings. rings like in oh, the Olympics. Five I totally rings. get it. The Olympic now. rings, but amazing. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. So uh, I know you're a published author as well, and you wrote a special book because it's for children. Yeah. So Tell I, me a little bit more about that. So I wrote a children's book. It's called The Adventures of One Up Max, Runic in the Crystal Cave. So it's about a dog named Max. Hint, hint. It's about my dog based on him, but it's for children age seven to eleven. So it's about a dog named Max, and he. Uh, zooms into a wormhole, into a strange land, follows a strange critter, and he has to go in search um, of magic stones in order to get back home. So once again, when I'm writing the children's book, I guess it's just ingrained into my brain, but it's about determination and it's about friendship and you know working together so that he could, and the determination and the perseverance to get back home. So once again, the five rings of success seem to be ingrained into my entire being. So, and it's a way to share that with young children. As That's well. awesome. Starting, yeah, starting with our youth is the most important thing. I, you know, I personally support several charities that have to do with underprivileged youth, teaching them business, entrepreneurships. Uh, and, and, and empowering and, and getting through challenges. So that's, that's amazing that you've actually wrote a book to be able to get that message into thousands and millions of hands. So yeah, it's, that's it's a beautiful. fun little story, but it has all of those things too. Yeah, and talking about Max, I heard Max is a social media influencer. Is this, is this true? Yes, so uh, I, he's a rescue dog and he was supposed to be a foster dog. Um, and I, was, I called people to get him all, you know, fostered out or adopted out, but mm -hmm. They didn't show up, and after the weekend with me, I just fell in love with him. He has one ear up, one ear down, and um, he goes with me everywhere. Uh, and we were we drive in the car, and he'll 
he had stop lights or whatever, he'll sit his little head out and people are looking at him, they're going, oh, how cute. So that's uh, how I started his Instagram account. I go, oh, I think I'm just going to share him with the world. So he has 50,000 followers on Instagram wow. and he has over 85,000 on Facebook. And so then I wanted to take it one step further and that's when I wrote the children's book. But he's done uh, some, you know, modeling and little bits of this and that. So. Yeah, I heard he's like a little actor. Yeah, he just, he loves to get dressed up actually. Um, so he wears his little bow ties or he gets suits or he wears his stuff, but he was an agility dog too. So in his hmm. younger days, he's a little older now, but in his younger days, uh, we used to do agility competitions. So we would, uh, the obstacle courses, so if you don't know what those are, mm -hmm. that's when they go up and down the A-frames and dog walks and he just absolutely loved it. Um, but once again, at that time of my life, that was kind of the only sport that I was doing. And I don't know, competition, uh, just perseverance and getting him to, you know, do all those things. It was just a fun way, a team, sh a team camaraderie that you work together with the dog. And so once again, the five rings are there, you know, plowing through and going for something. I love it. I love it. And, and so you, you're running events, you're doing workshops, you have uh, group coaching, you have masterminds and you do some private coaching. Mm -hmm. um, what, what, what is it um, that you are really trying to get across to all, and, and it's not only women, right? You, you, you predominantly work with women, predominantly but work you with have women. some men that work with you as well, Oh right? yes. I, so I, it's I, not I, limiting. It's just no, your message I, I speaks. Can help anybody i mean i can help athletes help them reach, reach to the next level um i can work you know with anybody uh men if there's if their goal is to be in a business or an entrepreneur um maybe it's women just wanting to overcome they want to get out of their job and they've always had a dream to get into a business um whatever their thing is or maybe it's just overcoming a bad relationship and having the confidence you know to move forward in their life whatever facet it is so I just want to help everybody, empower anybody to, uh, to live the life that they want. Well, I, I love that you have these programs where you create these awesome strategies based on your experience to be able to have people persevere. And, you know, I think it's, I think it's pretty cool to have an Olympian as my coach and, you know, giving me a direction. So that's, that's kind of amazing. And I'm sure your clients get a kick out of not only the results you produce for them, but who they get to work with, because I think that's pretty amazing. Not that many people get to say that they were in the Olympics. Yeah. So it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Now, if, if somebody wants to uh, get to work with you, learn more, connect with you, what's the best way to do that? Well, the best way to do it is to connect me with me on my personal website, which is meetlisa360.com. So they can connect me with me on any of the social media. So whether it's Facebook or YouTube or LinkedIn, Instagram, they're all there. So it's at meetlisa360.com. Um, it's just an awesome place. So once again, it's meetlisa360 at .com. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much yeah, for being on the you. show. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so and, much. And uh, I can't wait to see Max second and third book that's coming out, right? Yes, it is a series. So the second book is uh, being illustrated now and I'm just starting to work on the third book. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Ray Perez, reminding you to never leave for tomorrow, which you can do today and always stay true to your brand. If you or anyone you know is an expert in a particular niche or industry, we would love to have a conversation about potentially being on the show. Just visit todayspremierexperts.com, click on Be a Guest, and fill out the form.